Hi, this is PC WizKid here with my debut video, How to Get Free Antivirus Software. This is the Windows 7 edition of the video. Uh, it's a little bit different for Windows XP. Let me start by answering a few questions that you probably already have. Uh, first one being, is the software really free? The answer is yes. Uh, we'll be using free antivirus software provided by Microsoft. Uh, it's just as good as Norton or McAfee in my experience. It has successfully detected and removed threats from my system. I've been using it for about two years without any major problems. This video is great for you if you just bought a new computer about a month ago because you probably already have antivirus software but it's probably outdated and they're probably wanting about fifty dollars for you to renew your subscription to keep getting updates. Because if your antivirus software is not updated it's no good. Uh, it's pretty much worthless after a few weeks of it not being updated. This will be a three-step process. The first step is to remove or uninstall any existing antivirus software that you may have installed, such as uh, Norton Antivirus, Norton 360, Norton Internet Security, any of the Norton products uh, usually will have an antivirus component to them. Uh, or if you have McAfee Antivirus, uh, or McAfee, however you want to pronounce it, um, there's uh, several other different types of software from different um, manufacturers, but the main thing is that you need to remove any existing software before we can install the free antivirus software. Step two is going to be downloading the Microsoft Security Essentials antivirus software. It's completely free of charge, provided by Microsoft. And step three is uh, to install the Microsoft Security Essentials software. Okay, let's get started with step one. So first we have to remove any existing antivirus software. Um, the way to do that is to click on your start bar. Then select control panel. And then in your control panel you'll have a list of options. Uh, you should see one labeled programs. And right underneath that, there should be one uh, link that, there that says uninstall a program. You're going to want to click that link, and you'll see it'll start loading a list of all the software you've installed. See that bar at the top go across. Uh, once you see that that bar has gone across, it's listed all of your programs that you have installed. Um, you'll see my list here. Uh, you'll want to go through this list. Uh, you can scroll down here or you can click on a uh, any anyone in the list and hit uh, like if you're looking for Norton you can hit the letter N on your keyboard and you'll see it skip to the ends um, and you want to remove the software um, by selecting uh, like let's pretend that this one here is Norton we'll click on it you'll have your options up top here uh, you can click the uninstall button uh, and be careful you don't want to just go uninstalling any software uh, that if you don't know what it is just make sure you know what you're uninstalling. Uh, so again, we're going to be looking for uh, Norton, uh, maybe listed under Norton, Norton 360, Norton Internet Security. Uh, could be listed under the creator of Norton's name, which is Symantec. Uh, so you can look under the S's for that. Um, usually it's a circular yellow icon. Uh, when you've located it, uh, click on it, just like I've clicked on this one here. Uh, click the uninstall button. Uh, it'll probably prompt you asking you if you're sure you want to uninstall it. You can say yes. It'll start the uninstallation process. Uh, it's going to go through, uh, they, they'll call it a wizard. That's usually when you just have to click next, next, next through the steps. So it'll prompt you at each different part of the process of removing the software. Uh, so you can just sort of walk through that. Okay, now that we have removed our antivirus software, we can move to the next step, uh, which is downloading the Microsoft Security Essentials software. And here is the website address for that software. Uh, it's microsoft.com slash security underscore essentials. Uh, and I'm going to go there now. You can either type that into your address bar directly, or you can search for it uh, through Bing or Google. Uh, I'll do that right now. and you'll see as soon as I type in Microsoft there it is Microsoft Security Essentials uh, and just make sure that it's taking you to Microsoft.com slash Security Essentials uh, it's usually listed here in the search engine uh, or after you click on the link just make sure that that's where you are you don't want to download 
uh, anything that's not directly from them. You don't want to get any um, any spyware or anything like that. And here it is right here. There's a download now button. You can click that and it'll bring up the file. Uh, I recommend always saving the file before just clicking run. Uh, it can save you from some headaches. Um, and you can save it wherever you'd like to. Just make sure you keep track of where you save it so you can go back and run it. Uh, if you're not sure, uh, you're not confident in navigating your system files, you can click on the desktop icon here uh, and save it right to the desktop. Uh, you'll see the file name is mseinstall.exe. Uh, you can click save and it will begin to download the file. Uh, it shouldn't take too terribly long. And like I said before, this software is completely free of charge through Microsoft. I've used it for uh, about a year and it has actually detected threats and removed them uh, successfully. Um, performs well and it's free. Fits the bill. Uh, so there's no reason not to use it. Uh, there's also another project uh, product from a company called AVG. It's free AVG uh, antivirus. Uh, they have different versions of the software. Uh, so when you go to the website, it looks like they're charging for it, but if you get just the antivirus component of their software, it is free. Uh, it's also uh, another viable option for free antivirus protection. Um, but I had some trouble with uh, it detecting a false positive in some software that I was running, so I switched to the Microsoft Security Essentials. Okay, our download's complete. Okay, we should be ready for our third and final step, uh, which is to install the Microsoft Security Essentials software. And there it is. That's what the icon looks like. Uh, go ahead and double-click it. Uh, and it will pop up the user account control thing again. Uh, your screen will go, go dark, it will ding, and uh, you'll have to click yes before you can continue. Okay, and you should have the Microsoft Security Essentials install wizard up. You can uh, go ahead and click next. It'll give you the uh, end user license agreement. Uh, if you feel like it, you can read through all this. Pretty standard. All software has this. Uh, go ahead and click Accept uh, after you've read it if you choose to do that. Uh, it will prompt you if you want to join the Customer Experience Improvement Program, which, uh, considering that they're giving it to you for free, uh, I would suggest to join it. Uh, it will just collect anonymous statistical data uh, to help them improve uh, the software, make it better. And uh, it'll, it may prompt you to optimize security. Windows comes with a built-in firewall, uh, so this option will turn it on. There's no reason not to have this turned on, uh, really, unless you're having some type of connectivity issue uh, between PCs on your local network, etc. Uh, so you want to go ahead and leave that checked. Uh, click Next, and it'll start the installation process. Uh, It'll tell you if you have any other antivirus or anti spyware programs installed that you should remove them because they may conflict uh, with this software, which is why I walked you through that. They have a link here uh, that may assist if, uh, if what I did was not sufficient. Hopefully it was, but you can click that. It'll give you a little bit more information on how to do that. But at this point, you should have already done that, so you can go ahead and click the Install button. It should tell you that you've successfully installed it. Uh, it may or may not tell you that you need to restart. Uh, here it did not tell me that I need to, so uh, you have the option here to go ahead and scan for potential threats. It's a good idea to go ahead and scan once uh, it finish, once you click the Finish button. It will go ahead and update the antivirus definitions. And this will conclude our How to Get Free Antivirus Software video. Thank you for watching. This is PC WizKid signing off.